G'day guys and girls and thank you for joining me today talking about this beauty of a lens, the lens that is changing the way I see the world as a landscape photographer. I've got a slight suspicion today that this vlog's gonna be an absolute belter, so let's get into it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. She is bright and early this morning. Just finished the coffee, some pick-me-up juice in the morning. Just about to jump on the two-wheel pedal power machine to head down to Lake Bled to photograph sunrise. But I reckon I've got a pretty sweet vlog in store for you today. One that's gonna hit home for you guys and hopefully you know, change a few things in your mind how you're seeing this world. I'm talking about the one landscape photography lens that's changing the way that I see the landscapes around the world and I reckon it's gonna be a pretty sweet vlog today. But before we jump into that, I'm Matthew Storer, a travel and landscape photographer from Australia, traveling to least explored countries around the world, showcasing the beauty and diversity through my photography on this channel. So if that interests you, just push this little button down here and subscribe for future content. But what am I talking about? The one lens that's changing the way that I see the world as a landscape photographer. I'm not talking about the Aussies and Kiwis, looking at the world this way around, upside down, I'm talking about me walking around, looking at landscapes in places that I wouldn't really photograph or wouldn't be interested in using a telephoto lens to capture unique parts of the landscape. It is so cool and I'm super glad that my noggin is starting to think this way. If this is not making sense, stick around because I'm about to show you what you can do with a telephoto lens and how it can change the way that you see landscape and your landscape photography. Let's get on this billy bike and get it our way. made it but I have to be quick because the castle lights are still on and I really want to capture that so I'm going to get snapping. I literally had seconds. Seconds, that was it. I seen a window this morning of about one hour. There's a cloud bank coming over from Italy, so I knew we had about one hour of good light in the morning. Not golden colors, but just good light, clear enough to get this telephoto lens. This is what I want to talk about, the lens that is changing the way I see the world. I'm photographing in a pretty urban place right now, as you can see. There are cars driving past behind me. I walked past this footpath maybe a week ago. I just stopped and looked at that image and I thought, that's really cool. But when you see what I'm surrounded by, all this you know, dead trees in front of me, a big car park, an ice hockey rink, you would never think where I was. But I had to be really quick because I wanted the light on in the castle. So that is in the bag. Now I've got, I think, what are we, 15, 20 minutes away from that first alpine glow this morning, but I really hope the sun hurries up and that cloud doesn't ruin the image this morning because I might have got a one-hit wonder to capture the perfect image for the first time. That would be absolutely awesome. But how cool is it that I can be in a place like this, use a telephoto lens and see the world in a completely different way? I love this type of storytelling because when people look at it, they have no idea where you are. They have to make up the rest of the image, make up the rest of the story of the image, should I say. And that's one thing I love about the storytelling art of photography, it's sometimes lost and hopefully this image is sort of a replication of that which we can get this morning. But now I've got about 15, 20 minutes, as I said, to wait around 
Fingers crossed we get this uh, alpine glow this morning. What a cracker of a morning. It's actually happening. Who could have thought a bit of prep work and a stupid Aussie guy like me could make images like this happen? Well, not make them happen, but imagine them and then create them. I am actually a little bit lost for words. It's a little bit speechless to think I come here a week ago or walked past a week ago, seen this image, visualized it, went home, pre-planned it, seen the perfect window, literally for about two minutes this morning, gotten this alpine glow. I'm so happy, so pleased myself. I'm so speechless right now. But F9, gonna blend, I actually three bracket exposure because I didn't want to miss these conditions. Got a perfect alpine glow. Actually got some clouds lighting up. It, it, just wait to the image. F9, 160 ISO, giving about one over 30 exposure bracket. Blend that in with the image from this morning. I'm gonna shut up because I am speechless. Here is this beautiful image changing the way we see the world with a telephoto lens. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Righty diddly -o. there is that beautiful image from this morning's vlog. I absolutely bloody love this lens. To think I've walked past that location 50, 75 times, never even considered that image. And then to think, walk past there one time, flick the switch, a spark goes off in your brain, and one week later, you've got that image on that vlog. I, I am super pumped, I am so happy from this morning's vlog. The only thing I was worried about is did I have enough reach, and I think, We've answered that question on the vlog today. Yes, I did. I am <laughs> speechless. Once again, I am super pumped. Very, very happy with this morning's image vlog. Absolutely vlogtastic morning. But guys, I want to ask you this question. When was the last time you walked past the location, new or old, and seen something completely different to what you normally shoot? So if you normally shoot wide open, you shot telephoto. If you normally shoot telephoto, you shot wide open. When was the last time you made a switch in your brain to see 16 mil, 50 mil, 200 mil, whatever it is, and seen the world in a different light through photography? Let me know in the comments below. And also in the description below is a link to my Facebook page where I'm gonna to display today's image. In the comments there, show me that image. Show me where it was, what was going through your brain, what you normally shoot to what you did shoot this time. I just want that inspiration because I am, Jumping over the moon from this morning's image, it's just reinvigorated my energy for photography. But guys, I'm gonna go edit this vlog. I'm just, can't want the smile off my face. I bloody love this lens. If you love this content, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't be afraid to jump down and subscribe for future content. Because that is me done for today. Seeing the world through a completely different way through this telephoto lens. Ciao.